Hello everybody and welcome to Provis Gaming and more Europa Universalis 4, this time playing with the Dharma expansion. We are doing another achievement run today, the true heir of Timur. Is it, is it Timur? Timurids? Timur? Maybe I'll just call it the true heir of Tim from now on. But anyway, the true heir of Tim. It is, uh, I think, correctly described as the big blue blob of the Dharma expansion. It's a little bit tricky. First, you have to start as one of the Timurid vassals. Then you have to become independent, form the Mughal Empire, and conquer the entirety of the Indian subcontinent. Doesn't sound that bad until you realize you also have to do all of this by 1550. Oh, it's a timed achievement. So, we have to start as a vassal and in less than 100 years conquer the entirety of this region. It's going to be a pretty tough achievement. I think there are only two viable starting nations. One is Afghanistan. They have the advantage of being closer to all of the land that they need in order to form the Mughals. So if they can get independent pretty early on, then they actually stand a chance of conquering all their land, quickly form the Mughals, and that gives them a lot of nice advantages. The Mughals are a very powerful nation. The alternative option is Transoxiana, which is a bit further away, but at least has more force limit, more economy, more development. They are a better choice in that way. 127 starting development as opposed to only 47. It makes a big difference. For this particular run, I think I am going to start off as Transoxiana, see if we can snake our way down here. We're going to have to conquer some land in this approximate region around Delhi if we want to form the Mughals. And then from there, the Mughals do have the nice advantage of gaining permanent claims on all of the Indian subcontinent. But the trick then becomes trying to manage all of the inevitable coalitions that will form around you. It's going to be fun. Um, I'm hoping this is going to be a fast achievement run, but depending on how many times I have to restart, well... It could become quite the pain. Let's go ahead and begin. All right, here we are as Transoxiana. God save me. So normally as uh, one of the several vassals of the Timrids, the first thing that we are praying to happen is the great Sultan Shah Rukh to die a horrible death. He is kind of old. He usually dies within the first couple of years of the game, and when he does, it usually sets off a series of independence wars from all the Timurid vassals, which makes it a lot easier for us to break free. I don't think we can really afford to wait for any of that, though, because we're kind of on the clock. So instead, I am going to start by asking some people to support my independence. Right now, no one will do so, but the Mamluks and also Uzbek are very, very close to doing so. In fact, all we should need is one diplomatic reputation, and that would do the job. Did we start off with... We did. A diplomatic reputation advisor. Perfect. So we're going to go ahead and hire this guy. If you do not start with a diplo rep guy, never fear. You can go to your ICTA special taxation policies and go for lenient taxation, which would also give you the Diplo rep that we desire. So let's go ahead and go to the Mamluks, ask them to support my independence. We'll go to Uzbek, ask them for the same, and then boom. So the soonest we can declare our war against the Timurids is going to be December 11th. So one month from now. Usually by then, the Timurids have picked up an ally. Uh, in my experience, it's often been Chagatai with their Yarkan vassal. And we kind of have to decide how we want to approach the war. Do we go in guns blazing and try to take out the capital of the Timurids, or do we try to back off and let the Mamluks come in and do most of the heavy lifting, let them waste their manpower? I'm very keen on that idea, if we can make it work. We have an extra merchant, by the way. Uh, probably should collect here in some Markan, since we can't really do anything else. Got no more control anywhere else. Every little bit of extra money helps at this point. Uh, there are a few missions that we will want to consider, mainly because they can give me some claims and or some special power. For example, if we can stabilize Transoxiana by getting our stability up to two, that would get me some permanent claims on some areas. Now that doesn't sound that important, but if I can then retake a couple of cores from the Timurids over here, we can finish the Eastern Steps, gain a whole bunch more cores, which again, don't really care that much, but then if we do that... We get an extra 100 admin power, and for 15 years, another 15% shock damage. Very important at this stage of the game, when we're going to have to start blazing across and try to form the Mughal Empire as quick as we can. Building the Force Limit is another thing we can do. Trying to get a couple of allies that like us for some more Diplo Rep would not be bad. Then we can go for acquiring subjects, which reduces Diplo Annexation cost. Maybe we would find a use for that before uh, 1550? Maybe? Transoxion and leadership. Once we just break free, we'll gain a bit of power and prestige. That'll be quite nice. And then most of these we're not going to get a chance to do. I think we'll get a whole new set of missions once we finish forming the Mughals, though. As far as national decisions, I don't really want to go for legalism quite yet. I can do the missionary strength. This doesn't hurt. 
But uh, legalism will hold off until I um, have finished breaking free from the Timurids, because that extra 5% morale of armies, you never know. It might make a difference. Uh, let's go ahead and train up my troops up to the force limit for one mission, for a little bit of extra morale of armies. And I'm going to build them over here, because I think what's going to happen is almost certainly the Timurids are going to ally Chakatai. And when they do, and we declare our independence war, maybe we decide to go siege down the ally first, as far away from the Timurids as possible, until the Mamluks can arrive and wipe them out for me. So that way we're still making some solid progress in the war, getting some war reps and some money, but we're also not risking the vast majority of my manpower pool. We're also going to go ahead and... I was going to say we reduce my army maintenance, but maybe we don't. We could also try to reduce, like, our fort maintenance, but why bother if we're going to declare war in, like, a month? I'm not sure yet. Let's go ahead and put my heir as a general. We get two shock value, not that great. What about my ruler? Oh, okay, four shock value in a siege. Yeah, I'll work with that. The fire value is more or less irrelevant, but four shock, I'll take it. We don't have any fire value, do we? Yeah, no, I take that back. We do have some fire value. Okay, yeah, five fire and four shock. I mean, the shock's more important, but this isn't the worst in the world. Okay, so here's hoping that my, uh, my ruler doesn't die. Might happen, though. Let's go to the estates. I am going to seek support of the clergy. We are going to recruit the minister. Uh, recruit another minister. The Dimmy are upset, but that's fine. I would love to get a little bit more admin power, because what I want to do is get myself up to level 2 stability. So I can finish this mission before we go to war. Because once we declare our independence war, we're going to lose 3 to stability. And it's going to be very difficult for me to kind of climb my way back from there. So I want to get an extra little bit of power. Uh, let me see. What can we hand off to the Ulema? If I handed them this, I wouldn't get them a lot. Do I even have any meaningful amount of development, like, at all? Hmm. The Emirs have a lot of it. I'm not giving them that. Six? Who increased their influence up to 76.1? That's kind of what I needed. Alright, we're going to hand off Kish to the Ulema. And then we are going to seek their admin support. Gain all that power. Go one. Don't have quite enough to get to level 2 stability, but I think we'll be able to do that relatively soon. And I think we will switch over to an admin focus, so I can get as much power in that way as we can. Let's go ahead and grant Monopoly Charters to the Merchant Guilds and demand some... Well, uh, let's go ahead and get an upgraded advisor, and eh, it didn't quite make a difference. But alright, we'll go ahead and demand Diplo support there too. Uh, I can't ask for a general because then we'll be over the influence limit, so I'll have to call a diet, and then I will demand uh, military support and get an extra 150 monarch points. Okay. Reasonable enough to me. Let's actually play the game, shall we? The first video here, I think, is going to be absolutely crucial. If we can do a really good job here, I think we actually have a chance at this achievement. A gathering storm! The aging ruler of the Timurid Empire, Shah Rukh, has been ill since the beginning of 1444. In his absence, his wife, Goharshid, has taken over the daily rule of the empire, but this sign of weakness has set wheels in motion among the princes that rule the Timurid provinces. In western Iran, the young prince Mohammed Besunkor, an ambitious grandson, has started to accept taxes and tokens of loyalty from a much larger region than his assigned governorate. Having finally recovered and learned of this insolence, Shah Rukh has now declared Mohammed Besunkor a rebel and is moving a strike at him at first opportunity. If a civil war among all sons and grandsons, like that at the end of Timur's life, is to be avoided, Shah Rukh knows he must strike down any sign of rebellion harshly and quickly. So as long as he lives, liberty desire is reduced for all of the Timurid vassals. Not that it matters, because I'm the player, and the player doesn't care about this sort of nonsense. I can declare whatever the heck I want. Alright, so let's go ahead and get my troops in position. We are going to try to kill Chagatai if he allies with them, which so far he has not. If he doesn't ally anyone by December 11th, then maybe we just declare the war immediately and not worry about it. He's actually trying to improve relations with me because he knows that I'm disloyal. That's kind of funny. Uh, I mean, you've only got five days and your troops are currently drilling. You know, if you're not going to get an ally, I'll go ahead and declare war on you immediately. I don't know. Oh, no, wait. Up, oh, up. Oh, that's Chagatai entering into an alliance with jean -Pour. That's not the same as the Timurids. Every test game I've done, they've always, always allied the Timurids immediately. Well, perfect. This way he doesn't have any friends. If only I had a little bit more power. Do I risk it? Because if I wait one more month then I can get the stability I needed to finish that mission, rather than lose three and I'll never get it. One month. Can I wait? Please don't ally anybody. Please, 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 wait, 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 wait. Nope, that's not it. 
He hasn't allied anybody yet. Hasn't allied anybody yet. Happy New Year! We get the power that I'm looking for. Now we go for the stability. That will finish off emissions. Gadoosh! We get permanent claims on a whole bunch of areas. What claims did I... What? What? I don't see any permanent claims. Oh, wait. No. I don't know. Permanent claims, I guess, on my region itself. Doesn't matter. We're going for this one next anyway. Okay. Happy New Year. January 1st, 1445. We're going to declare the war. We're going to lose three stability and gain some war exhaustion. But the Mamluks and Uzbek will join, and they have no friends. This is the perfect start. Now, I would have loved to have been in position to actually uh, stack wipe these guys as quick as possible. But oh well. Transoxion and leadership will give me some extra military power and prestige. Also, some permanent claims on other regions, which I will never take advantage of down here. But oh well. Uh, let's go over this direction and try to siege down Coruscant. And wait until the Mamluks arrive. I want to kind of give them a clear path to get the heck up here. But without Chagatai getting in my way, I think we've actually got a pretty good shot at making this work first time around. Uh, every test game, and I've done like three or, f I've f three or four times, I have attempted the first few years of this campaign just to have some idea what I'm doing. And every time, the Timurids allied Chagatai. So this is amazing so far. Very happy with this. Just gotta wait for them Mamluks. The numbers are heavily in my advantage, uh, favor right now. But we are kind of isolated and vulnerable until then. Let's go ahead and start improving relations with Uzbek and the Mamluks. If I'm lucky, I can get them up to 150 relations and finish another mission. But if not, oh well. Uzbek, I might very well betray at some point because they have a bunch of cores that I want. So if at any point I find myself in a position unable to continue taking land in India, we might just turn against them, take some land back. Eh, any bit of extra development counts, you know? It does a little bit. So let's think a little bit about what I'm looking for in this war. What's this? Uh, hang on, that changes things a little bit. The Great Horde joins? Okay, that was unexpected. Hi. I did not expect the Great Horde to join in on this war. That has never happened. Okay, uh, it is a day for firsts, apparently. That's fine, though. I'm still gonna let the Mamluks handle most of this. Uh, just did not think that was gonna happen. Hmm. What was I saying? Oh, yeah, what do we want to take in this war? Well, the first thing we want to take are our cores, certainly. That also will finish a mission. We can also take Golistan, which will finish another mission down here. Again, getting that 15% shock damage. It does help for 15 years. I also want to take Badakhshan, Badakhshan and Ruh right down here from Afghanistan. reason I want this is it is a fort in the highlands with a nice little mountain range as a wasteland, forcing this into a perfect bottleneck to try and stop the Indians from coming into my land. So this would be amazing. It will force all Indian wars that can send their troops, get stuck here on row, and I can sweep in, get the defensive terrain bonus, and try to kill them. That is my backup plan to kind of get the Indians to go into the meat grinder. We'll see if it actually works or not, but a guy can dream. All right, Uzbek is hiring troops from no guy. Uh, a lot of troops, actually. Hey, I'm happy with them spending their money to kind of help dogpile on the Timurids. Let's freaking do it, man. Uh, please do not give military access to... You did give it to Uzbek. Well darn. I would prefer the Great Horde to be stuck over there and doing nothing. But you can't always get what you want. Alright, all is looking well as of right now. We could go for our ICTA taxation, and I guess... Right before the end of this war, I could go for the uh, core creation cost reduction for 20 years. I mean, money is nice and all, but uh, if I can uh, save myself a few Monarch points, then that's probably worth it, right? A loan from Ajam. 3% interest, 55 ducats. Uh, I'm going to decline for now, but that's very generous of you. Not sure if that's actually a good deal or not. I actually have no idea. All right, how many troops do we need here? Nine. So we can afford to take off at least a couple of cavalry. So let's save ourselves some of the attrition. Again, we're sitting back and waiting for the Mamluks to get over here. Hi, no guy. Uzbek, you want to send their troops to go and kill these little stacks? Because they're just ripe for the taking. No. Here come the Mamluks. Actually, 10,000 were sticking down here for some reason. Don't know why. There's Hejaz. I got 5,000. So we got about, about 30,000 troops heading this direction if we can hold out long enough. Yeah, they're going for a fort, but oh well. 
Chagatai has rivaled Oirat. Don't really care. Country is at war. Yeah, stability is low. Yeah, that's all true. Uh, I do need to be somewhat concerned about war exhaustion. Um, if this gets high enough, then the national unrest could cause some serious problems for us. Uh, and I mean pretty darn serious. Let's make sure that we're always making progress on that siege. Send one more infantry over here to help. There we go. Yeah, um, I have had a test game where I ended up having about seven or eight war exhaustion, and that led to uh, massive unrest uh, with like 30,000 peasants rising up, which turns out kind of difficult to deal with. Uzbek is sieging down the Great Horde. I'm fine with that. Would have preferred you guys to fight the Timurids, but if we can knock out an ally, get some war reps, a little bit of extra money, I'm certainly not opposed to any of that. Let's see if we can get some more sieges down on Coruscant. Uh, no guy has rivaled me. All right, well, I guess we're just not going to be friends then, are we? If that's the way you feel. Jam is rivaling up with the Timurids. I can't remember if they start off as a vassal of the Timurids, but through that immediate event, they uh, break free or what. They're going to get a fort before I do. There goes the Siege of Merv. Wonderful name there. Uh, Uzbek, that seems like a really bad play, but you're going to throw away the lives of Nogai troops, so okay. Never mind, actually, it was a really good play. You managed to catch 3,000 troops unexpected. And you killed them. Okay, well, now you're going to die for it, but hey. Good job. Surrender of Maine already. 1445. Why couldn't that happen in my game? I don't know. All right, so no guy is going to lose all their troops that they loaned out. It's fine, though. Uh, Uzbek is only losing money, not manpower. A beloved heir dies. Aww. Ooh, I can get a noble heir of the Timurid family, a 443. It's a weak claim, but a 443 is not the worst. In the arms of a maid, I find solace. We have Uluh as my heir. How old is he? He's a baby. Alas, I cannot make him into a general. That would have been too much to hope for, I guess. All right. Well, our war exhaustion will be going up now. Mamluks, where are you? You're sieging down Fars. You're doing a great job of it, too, I might add. Fantastic, in fact. You want to get up here? Because they're all in my land. I don't like I don't like that they're all in my land. Okay, nobody broke their alliance with Uzbek. Mm hmm Come on, get the Great Horde out of here. Get that fort, get that fort. Darn it. I don't know. This first episode's a bit of a crapshoot. Um I mean I just have to be as careful as I can not to waste my manpower, but there's only so much we can do here. So Great Horde, hi. Uh let's pull off of Uzbek for a minute. I'm going to see if I can peace out with them and get 7,000 troops out of the way so that the Mamluks can sweep in unopposed. I definitely need to take Ro. There's 7,000 troops down here for some reason. Okay, so he's moving south to take that on. They're sieging down Bukhara, which I think is my... Is not my capital? No, my capital is Samarkand. Never mind. Okay, so they're not sieging down my capital. At least that's good. That would hurt a lot. Okay. So Great Horde is not willing to peace out yet. All right, too much to hope for. Uh, why do I have the epistles playing? I thought I turned that music off. You guys probably can't hear it, but I can. All right. I don't want to... Death of Shah Rukh. Oh, good, he's dead. The Timurids no longer have the benefit of the reputation of Shah Rukh. Okay, well, all the vassals are currently under... Um, the control, uh, sorry, in a war with the Timurids, so they can't break three. But we do at least have some pretender rebels that'll suddenly cause some problems. So that's good. Allah al Dwala Abd Allah Timurid. Wow, what a. There's another epistle playing right now. No, stop it. Okay, there we go. We got the Siege of Golistan. Hey, I did something. Woo. All right. Again, I want the Mamluks to do the heavy lifting, but if we can scare these guys away from Bukhara, I think that that is going to be a good play, so let's start moving in that direction. Dodging around the Timurid Pretender Rebels. Don't want to fight them. I want to stay nice and far away, in fact. Okay, here comes 14,000 troops. Uh, you're going here, apparently. Come on. Afghanistan, I need you to go away. You want to go away? Anyone going to reinforce them? Doesn't look like the Timurids want to reinforce. They want to kill Hejaz. 
Okay, if you're going to give me an opportunity to jump on these guys with 2-1 to one numbers and maybe with Uzbek reinforcing, I'll take it. Don't want to engage in any fights that are going to lose me manpower, but this is a good one so we don't lose our capital. So Hejaz dies, but if we can kill Afghanistan and it stack wiped them, then that's perfectly good for me. All right, let's get down here to Kabul. Uh, anything, again, that will get me some war score will be nice. Uh, I also would like to get my war exhaustion under control, actually. How bad is it right now? Uh, it's going up a fair bit. Maybe we can unsiege our uh, fort and then try to go for their capital. Big thing that's important here is the Mamluks. We do not want you retreating and going home. We want you to stick around. It's kind of important that you do. Lose stability? Can't really afford that. We're going to lose some money. Alrighty. Uh, let's split off a couple of... In Actually, let's split off a couple of cavalry. Go unsiege this. Start working on this fort over here. He is going this way. I think he wants to free up the Golden Horde. Which is great. Uh, maybe we can have enough reasons to actually piece them out before they can unsiege that. Not quite. We're four reasons off. What's going on up here? Oh, Uzbek! You let them all siege you down! That's fine. Actually, you know what? If the Timurid army wants to just back off and go work on their allies, then... That buys me time that I need. So, I can think of worse things. Alright, you're going to go over here. You're going to go over here. We're going to give them some war exhaustion. Get their enthusiasm down low if possible. Uh, Mamluks are slowly making their way up here. Pretender rebels are fighting some Timurid forces that were trying to get reinforcements. Looks like they are going to die, but they caused some damage. Fars has a handful of troops in the region. Gotta be careful about that. How much money am I losing right now? Not any right now. And they are once again trying to siege down Bukhara. Okay. Um, let us start preemptively building a spy network against Kashmir. Maybe I'll be able to get claims on them and start going into war immediately after I'm done taking this stuff from Afghanistan. Uh, we're gonna have to start paying off some war exhaustion pretty soon, because I cannot afford to have this much national unrest. So let's go ahead and pie down a little bit. Again, just do not want to have 27,000 peasants rising up against me. That would only be bad. Mamluks, they're right there. They're split off from the rest of the army. It's a perfect opportunity. Never mind. There's a bunch of guys up here, too. Okay. Hmm. The Mamluks just aren't being as aggressive as I hoped they would. They're going south. They're more worried about the stuff down here than getting the capital of the Timurids. Which just seems stupid to me. Uh, we can get a mission, though. Trustworthy allies. They like me. Diplo rep. Okay. Let's go ahead and pull off there. Don't need that anymore. We did not actually manage to build the force summit before we declared our war, I just realized. Which means we actually should have to build three more troops. Can't really afford them at the moment, though. Uh, we need to back our troops up. Whoop. Okay, hang on. Looks like they've decided they want to attack me. Possibly. I'm kind of in a weird position where I actually can't reinforce. Let's try going this way. I don't want to get stuck. Protests and Kokand. Legalism, mysticism. Uh... I think I can do the mysticism. Gotta be careful here. Navigate around these guys. Can I go this way? Yes. Okay. Troops are in reinforcement range. Golden Horde, how you looking? Okay, you want out, and now you would actually give me some money. 52 ducats isn't a lot, but it gets them out of here. Done. Okay, so the Golden Horde is out. So now we're up to 40% war score. Timrids are still at medium war enthusiasm. I need to get them down to low. And if we can get one more good fort on top of their capital, maybe that'll be enough to take what I want. We do need to siege down a fort in Afghanistan if we want to take Roe. It's not an option. If I can get uh, Kabul, that would be ideal. But again, I can't really risk my troops too much. Okay, he's apparently decided he wants to attack. 
Can I get out of here in time? Yes, so I'm going to dance. Okay, my troops are free. Let's go for his capital. I'm going to say it is okay for friendly units to stack on that army. And he decided not to chase after me. Good. Okay, so here comes Uzbek. Uzbek, I hope you're doing all right. You're working on getting your capital back. If you can do so, you'll be fine. Okay, so we're working on the capital of the Timurids. And he's got 20 some thousand troops that he's sending after me. Ah, uh, bad news. Okay, looks like I can get out of here, though. So we're going to escape. If possible. Because uh, that's a fight I will lose. Okay. Uh, looks like this time I can't escape. So we're kind of stuck here. Uh, Mamluks, I really need you guys to assist me here. Well, Uzbek's going to. Uh, actually... Rolling 9 plus a 4 against a 0 is kind of amazing. Get in here, Uzbek. Help me out. Oh, come on, please. I need reinforcements, like right now. There we go. Hey, what do you know? Okay, that was good. We can invite a scholar, by the way. A merchant. Nah, but I do like the aggressive expansion guy. That'll be useful. Come back to that, though. Okay, that was a really important win. Uh, let's start working on his capital again. Mamluks, where are you going? Do not assist Uzbek. Uzbek is fine. See, they just got their capital back. They're doing great. Their war enthusiasm is down to zero. Okay, hang on. So I would have to demand my independence, and then I would want to take my cores, this, this, and then this. 76% war score is what I would need. And we are still many, many reasons away from getting this. So if I can siege down their capital and then Kabul, I think we've got it. Let's go to speed five while I sit back and wait. Mamluks, if you'd stop working on this, that'd be amazing. I could use reinforcements more than anything. War of the Roses. Why am I getting messages about England? I really don't care about England. I'm going to accept the attrition right now just to make sure that I'm safe because he's surrounding me and it's scaring me. Mamluks, I need your help. Please get over here. You don't understand. I am being surrounded on all sides. Oh, God. This is bad. Hang on. Uh, we are going to consolidate regiments for a full front line best I can. And this time we did not roll so well. Crap. Okay, we're going to have to retreat. See, Mamluks, this is what I'm talking about. If you'd get over here and help, we'll be fine. But if you're not going to help, then we're going to lose. It really is this simple. You even st you're, you're working up on the peasants! Who cares about peasants? Peasants don't matter! Oh, great, and there's ten Grey Zealots up here in Uzbek. This is... suddenly becoming less than ideal. Okay, we're gonna go to Kabul. I can afford the military tech, which I will do. Slightly improved tactics. Now the Mamluks want to help. Okay, maybe we should get in there. Nope! Okay, the AI is uh, not being extremely helpful right now. Uh, we're just going to work on Kabul then. Peasants are getting uppity. Losing power would suck, but I think I can afford to do it. Oh, sorry, uh, loyalty from the emirs. It's not by much. Should only take a few months and they'll be fine. <sighs> All right. You gonna work on this fort then? Is that the plan? Okay, here come the Mamluks. Here we go, they got a surround! And they lost again! <laughs> You're such a disappointment, Mamluks! You've got all the advantages going into this and you're just getting wiped! What are you doing? What are you doing? It's fine, I'll get this though. We'll get it. There we go, we got the Siege of Kabul, okay? Now let's go and assist over here. We're up to 57% war score. I just need to take the capital. And I think we've got it. Maybe. Minus 35% chance. I'm going to run out of manpower very soon. But we're going to freaking get it. And we've been rivaled by Chagatai. That's fine. Uzbek has been doing great. Okay? I don't know what your excuse is, Mamluks. Yeah, yeah. Someone's trying to siege down your vassal. I don't care. Cry me a river. All right. 
I'm going to split some troops so we don't take quite as much attrition. We're going to back off. Get a little bit of uh, sieging in to kind of just bolster some of my money. Uh, we need to buy down some war exhaustion. Maybe a couple of times, actually. And I'm going to go ahead and buy up a stability to get up to zero. We have a little bit of unrest. The Transoxion and Peasants here are a huge problem. But if we can get rid of our war exhaustion, I think we'll have it. So let's see. Um, you'll go here and then here. Who Uzbek is allying the Great Horde? Funny. The Renaissance begins. Wow, it's already 1450? There's the Siege of Herat. Uh, Shia Zealots. Eh. Alright, let's go siege all this. So, we're at 69% war score. They are trying to siege down the vassals of the Mamluks. Now we're up to... Well, we were at 70. Now we're down to 67. I think we're actually about good now. We should be, yeah? Yes. Okay, we actually can get our independence right now. 20% 20 uh, 20 overextension, 37 aggressive expansion sucks, but we get a bit of money out of this as well. Quite a bit, in fact. So the question is, do I want land, or do I want money? Uh, how good is this province? 11 development, livestock, mountains. I mean... It makes about half a ducat. Uh, it's not bad. But would I rather just have some money? I'm thinking I might rather have money. And the reason I'm thinking this is because this will allow me to field a uh, temporary merc army so we can get an Indian raiding event, which should get me a really good general, I think, if that's the way it works. And this way it stops me from taking loans and going into bankruptcy. Also, I don't have a lot of power to waste on this stuff, so I think this will have to be good enough. Okay, we are going to get our independence. We're going to gain some land. Skadoosh. And that is a pretty solid start, I think. All right. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If so, then I ask that you hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.